<laughs> yeah, what is going on? Oh my god. Hello. What? Hello, can you? Okay, there you go. What's going on, guys? Little Pixel here, back at it again with another video. Showing you guys a tutorial on how to do that clip onto your stream and put it onto your overlay just by putting exclamation point shout out. It is the most simplest tutorial I can give you guys. I'm going to be leaving all the links in the description below so you guys can use this tool for your stream as well. And it can also feel very rewarding for the person that's rating you or hosting you. If you want to give them a little shout out in your chat or whatever, you can do that and it feels great. There was like a couple tutorials on it, but I want to give my take and my tutorial on it because i feel like it can bring a lot of value to you guys and it's just very rewarding for that person so let's get on to the tutorial and i hope you guys enjoy this video so now that we go to the home page twitch guru you see right here it's an amazing website there's a lot of things besides a shout out there's a lot of like little tools that you can have the one that we're going to focus on is the shout out player right here when you start off you're going to want to put your username mine is lobo pixel if you guys haven't checked out my twitch stream you should link in the description below if you want to follow me catch one of my streams and hang out you know or ask questions sometimes i help people right on the spot and about their stream if they have any questions so if you want to do that you can i usually turn off the channel point reward option you can use that but i prefer not to because we are putting the command in the chat so there's really no point in using this but this is an option if you'd like to so i'm going to turn mines off this part where it says options there's a section here that gives you time how long do you want the clip to play onto your stream and on your uh, overlay so i'm going to put like 15 seconds i think that's enough to like really see like maybe a really good clip or something it generates a random clip it is not like the most recent clip or the most popular clip I wish it would do the most popular clip. It does random clips and sometimes like, you know, Twitch does like random clips or whatever, but that are not even like, there's like nothing going on, but that is kind of like a con to it. Just leave it at 15 seconds. I think that's perfect. There is also a mute button. Everyone has like a different setup. So when that clip pops up to your stream, you'll have like really high volume. It could blow out your ears. For the most part, usually it's pretty high. You can put a mute option, but I'm going to give you guys something even better. So you don't have to mute it. So you can actually give them a real shout out. I'm going to give you guys some audio filters you could join into my discord I and the free downloads channel. I have my audio filter set there. You can use those audio filters and apply it to this browser source. I'm going to show you guys how I did that. And it actually applies like if it's your mic on your stream. When you go down here to the custom commands, right? You're going to want to press the add button, right? And then when you press the add button, I always use exclamation point shout out. But honestly, you could put whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. And then when you scroll a little bit down, down here's the browser URL that you're going to be using. You could just copy the clipboard. So now that you have this copied, we can go straight into OBS. So I can show you guys how to add the browser source and add the audio filters. So now that we're in OBS, you're going to want to add it as a browser source. I have mine here as exclamation point SO for shout out, and you can put whatever you want, but this is what I put for mine. That little URL code that you have copy and paste that into here. The width and height don't really matter, but I think the height and the width are good. The way it is so you can just like move it around it won't be like such a big clip or whatever you're going to want to press okay on that if you just copy and paste the audio filters that i'm going to give you guys in the link in the description below you can go to filters i have filters for the compressor limiter and noise gate i tested it a few times to see if i can get like some high audio stuff coming through the stream sometimes it peaks at red but it's not as loud as it without it so i'm going to do another one just just in case so you guys can see how it works okay. that's a silence Boom, 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 boom. That's, That's the grenade, grenade launcher. Launch it. Launch it. Oh, <laughs> It peaked a little bit at red, but it wasn't as bad as it would be without it. It says, check out Loba Pixel at the top. It shows their little clip. It shows it for like 15 seconds, which is great. So and it has a little time. bit of a delay before, like maybe like four or three seconds before. And then it plays the clip and it gives you enough time to be like, hey, like check out this person. Like this version is awesome. It's not that complicated of a tutorial. It's really simple, really easy. You can do a lot of audio filters but it does help just a little bit so you don't freaking blow out your ears when someone's audio is like super high or anything and there you guys have it there goes the tutorial on how to have twitch clips pop up after shouting somebody out in your chat i hope that this video brought you some type of value and i hope it adds up a little spice to your channel whenever someone comes in you know you want to show your appreciation you really care about them bringing their community to you it's just like a better way to bond with other streamers when they show you love it makes them feel good because 
because it made me feel great seeing one of my clips like one of my funny clips too pop up onto the stream and like you know it's just such a good feeling make sure to subscribe to the channel if this video brought you any type of value and make sure to give the video a thumbs up because it really does help with the algorithm and youtube statistics and analytics and all that stuff so if you do that guys i would really appreciate it that's it for this video i hope to catch you guys on the next one peace out bye